The business environment has radically changed in the last few months owing to the coronavirus pandemic. We are in an environment where news reports are filled with stories of employee layoffs and business closures. There is no end in sight for the threat of COVID-19 and the situation can look hopeless. For many, starting a business in this environment will seem like sheer waste of time. For some people, challenges like these bring innovation, fresh ideas, and new ways of doing business. Whether starting a new business or modifying the current business is possible to thrive in these days of COVID-19. Hello and welcome to another Business Talk with Reggie, where our business is taking care of your business. If you are joining us for the first time, kindly subscribe to the channel. There are lessons that we have learned from COVID-19. Some of us have learned that one person's loss is often another person's gain. In the middle of a crisis like this, there are winners. The biggest winners being those that are profiting from supplies that became essential, such as suppliers of protective clothing equipment, PPE, used in the medical field, other medical supplies such as vaccines, treatment and testing kits. We have also seen an increase in online sales, that's e-commerce. Demand for video conferencing and streaming services has surged. Cloud computing has also afforded people to work from their homes. Businesses and new startups in these industries have been enjoying growing revenue and thriving under COVID-19. It is clear that businesses that are providing support during COVID-19 through their products and services are the ones that are succeeding. On the other hand, some businesses lost out during COVID-19. The main reason being that their offerings, their products and services became unfavorable and some of them even became unusable. Examples being live events, musical shows and major sporting events, restaurants, travel and hospitality, that is your tourism industry, transportation, airlines have been grounded including your combis and long distance buses in Zimbabwe. There are actually three choices for businesses that are in these industries. The first choice is to cut costs, secondly, possibly prepare for sale or shutdown, then thirdly, to transform towards a new post-COVID future. Now, the question is, how can you position your business beyond COVID-19? Firstly, for startups, is it possible to start a new business now? The answer is yes. As the world is preparing for long-term effects of COVID-19, we need to be prepared for changes in our lifestyles. Some of the new products and services that we introduced as a result of the pandemic are likely to carry on post-pandemic. This year, startups have an opportunity to fit into COVID environment by being the solution that people need. There are plenty of gaps that were left by coronavirus. Here is what you need to do. One, identify your preferred industry. Two, Evaluate common problems that your target market is experiencing. Then three, then solve the problems. That's business. As we have said before, that a business is there to solve people's problems. The added question here is that your startup should not just be a solution to a COVID-related problem if you want your business to succeed in the long term. We have seen that plenty of organizations have started to supply PPE, but demand for this product will not last forever. So your idea needs to be COVID proof. It needs to be viable and be able to thrive beyond this pandemic. Number two is how do you position your business beyond COVID-19? Consumer needs have changed due to this pandemic. With businesses modifying their existing product and service offerings in order to take advantage of opportunities that have been created. As we have already discussed, the only recipe for survival is through transformation of businesses. For the transport business, implementation of social distancing and lockdown restrictions had and still has huge implications on movement of people and goods. 
restrictions on travel and implementation of stay-at-home policies for workers in non-essential sectors saw a decrease in demand for public transport services. As a result of these changes, public transport is now under additional financial stress. With urban passenger traffic dropping, ride-sharing companies like Uber are investing significantly in in-home delivery. They are now focusing more on delivery of food, groceries, retail goods and documents. This is the agility that is needed in business to say when one door closes, another should open. Then for restaurants, restaurants have been badly affected by the lockdown with main owners pondering whether to close for good. We have been accustomed to restaurants as having a sitting area that is next to a kitchen. However, restaurants are basically kitchens whose output of food can be delivered to customers. This can be done in a number of ways and using various kinds of business models, which can be eat in, take away, delivery, or even catering. Kitchens that are offering multiple menus complemented with delivery services will have a promising future. Live events. The live event industry has heavily been affected by COVID-19 pandemic. This is an industry that thrives on mass gatherings and human interaction such as meetings, conferences, musical shows and sporting events. For such events, physical distancing is not quite possible and despite the restrictions, many people were not comfortable attending. Since the pandemic recovery timeline is still not promising, the venue industry has been forced to adopt a virtual model. So now we've seen that concerts and live events are now being offered through live streaming. And of light, we've seen sporting events coming back online, where they are now playing in empty stadiums without spectators. Supporters can now watch their favorite teams play from the comfort of their homes. The same applies to musical shows that are now being streamed live online. However, the transition from physical to virtual events has its own fair share of challenges, both technically and financially. The question has been how do you monetize virtual events? How do you make people pay since there are no gate takings? Sporting events taking place in empty stadiums are now relying more on TV royalties and licenses. It is, however, still a big challenge for some live events. Delivery services. During lockdown, the majority of consumers have been playing safe and staying home. This opened the door for many businesses either to expand their existing delivery service or create one to meet the growing demand. Great opportunities were created for businesses that previously did not offer delivery to their customers. They are now in a better position to grow their customer base and retain them even post COVID-19. So, if you are running a business, look for ways you can cater for your customers by delivering your goods or services. Technology and IT services. Many businesses around the world now have a significant percentage of their workforce working from home. For some, this is the first time for people to work from home and would need help setting the people up installation of new equipment, maintenance of that equipment, as well as instructions on how to use it are just a few needs that now exist on a larger scale. So if you provide IT services, look for companies that are just getting into remote working and see what you can offer them. Cleaning services. The current global pandemic has made everyone become more conscious of viruses and germs. This has increased the demand for professional cleaning services. Businesses that offer cleaning and sanitizing services have experienced a drastic increase in demand, especially from commercial and medical facilities. The same demand also saw liquor companies and distillers redirecting their production lines to manufacture alcohol for sanitizers. Home improvement. National lockdowns forced many people to spend more time at home. This resulted in those in home improvement industry experiencing an increase in businesses as people sought to upgrade their living conditions. 
there were abundant opportunities in painters, roofers, landscapers, and many more. And this trend is likely to continue. Now, in conclusion, we have looked at a few examples of businesses that are thriving during the global pandemic. You need to put your imagination and ingenuity to work and look for ways that will help you and your business do more than just survive during these tough times. Yes, demand for many goods and services declined in the last few months, but demand for others has seen a huge increase. Now could be your time to do the same. Every business that experiences success does so because they have identified a genuine need, then came up with a solution to that need. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. You can also leave a comment below and let us know what has been your experience. Thank you.